Well, thanks very much, uh, particularly to Tony Barclay for uh, including me in this uh, very distinguished group, to Dan Chrisman, who has propped up my shaky intellectual act over the years on several occasions, for your continuing leadership in the chamber. Uh, certainly to Secretary Carlucci and Albright, both of whom I have immense respect for, and Madeline's been a friend and a mentor and a tremendous example, both as a UN ambassador and as our Secretary of State, and it's wonderful to see both of you uh, standing for this new program. Governor Tom Ridge and I appear uh, frequently uh, on the speaking circuit. Um, you know, drafty, uh, decorated for valor in Vietnam, governor, secretary, uh, public servant. It's a mystery to me why your name isn't on that list of Republican candidates, Governor. <laughs> Um, very briefly, look, we're in a mess. We've got 32,000 killed and wounded. We're burning up $12 billion a month. We're grinding up a battalion every month of soldiers, Marines, special ops, uh, killed and wounded. Uh, we're running the Army off the edge of the cliff. <clears throat> it's starting to unravel. Uh, Air Force lift assets are getting broken faster than we can replace them. Uh, our international image is in the pits. You look at this Pew Charitable Trust dip polling data, Never in our nation's history we face such enormous animosity. Now, some of that clearly isn't our fault. And oh, by the way, I would underscore, I personally thank God we've got a person of uh, Secretary Bob Gates' character and capabilities, now Secretary of Defense, uh, this brilliant leadership team we've got on the ground in Iraq. Dave Petraeus may be the most talented person I ever met in my life. Uh, Ryan Crocker, a person of similar talent, experience, and dedication. Uh, Dr. Rice, clearly now uh, able to start focusing on dialogue as opposed to confrontation. But we're in a real uh, mess. Uh, my age group, I three combat tours, the lieutenant and the captain, came out of that Vietnam era. And I tell people my wife of 43 years hated American politicians, reporters, and generals. And she ain't changed her mind on any of the three uh, over the years I've been living with her. Um, we really got ourselves in, in, in a very difficult situation. Uh, we understand you can't fight war in the cheap. You know, I tell people I know a lot about fighting. And most of what I know about fighting came from being an untalented and undefeated college boxer. And the reason I didn't lose fights, I went in and told the senior leadership in the Pentagon, the run-up to the war in Iraq, uh, was twofold. One, when I stepped in the ring, I was scared to death, no matter who I was fighting. And I suggested that as a way to go about considering the use of military power. When you start that, you have no idea where it's going to move on you. The second reason was, my coach later killed in action as a Marine Medal of Honor recipient, Frank Reisner. Uh, used to tell us when that gong goes off, you go across the ring and try and kill your opponent with a first punch and dominate the fight from the outside. But if you do that, you're not going to lose these struggles. I think we lost sight of that uh, on our in the last uh, six, seven years of looking at the international community.